Well, hello and welcome to The Christian YouTuber. I am Matthew Corey, The Christian YouTuber. Also, ex-Satanist, ex-Irish mobster, saved by grace. And now I'm a Christian author and evangelist. And you can find all my books on Amazon.com. Just search Matthew Corey and Amazon.com and they'll come up. And uh, you can get my book, From Hell to Heaven, about how I was an Irish mobster and Satanist who came to Christ from walmart.com or from Amazon and I'll put a link to that in the description as well as some of my other books but um, yeah today I just wanted to talk to you about I know are we living in the last days you know the days before Jesus Christ is coming in I believe we are and I'm going to give you some scripture verses talking about why I believe we are living in the last days before the return of Christ so let's look at the first verse and see what it has to say. And I'm going to read these off the notes on my phone here. But the first verse is 2 Timothy 3 1. This know also that in the last days perilous times shall come. Now, are we not living in perilous times? I mean, there's a bunch of things following um, in the verses following that scripture that I'm going to read off that indicate that we are living in the last days. It says, for men shall be lovers of their own selves. And I'm just going to read this off my phone. Covetous, boasters, proud, blasphemers, disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy, without natural affection, truce breakers, false accusers, incontinent, fierce, despisers of those that are good, traitors, heady, high-minded, lovers of pleasures more than lovers of God. Do we not see that in our society today? People who love pleasure more than they love God, they love things like sex and money and all this stuff more than they love God and um, having a form of godliness but denying the power thereof from such turn away for of this sort are they which creep into houses and lead captive silly women laden with sins led away with diverse lusts ever learning and never able to come to the knowledge of the truth so we see in those verses that we just talked about there that um, they're just, just we're just seeing this so rampant today you know I mean people are people not creeping into houses men creeping into houses and uh, you know are they not committing immorality with you know women all the time nowadays I mean just going to bars and going to different places and committing immorality I mean and there's no regard for God whatsoever and there's no thought even of what he thinks of this in their minds you know and um, I just don't see how you can be a Christian and sit there and um, you know sleep around with a bunch of different people I mean it's just not it's just not possible <laughs> you know and these are the kinds of people that we're seeing today in our world and in, and in those verses we saw um, just just everything that is coming about that we're seeing today. Let's look at the next verse of scripture and see what it has to say. And the next verse of scripture is Luke 21 11. And great earthquakes shall be in diverse places and famines and pestilences and fearful sights and great signs shall there be from heaven. So you know, we can look today and say, man, we got the coronavirus, we got, we got these pestilences, you know, in various places all over the world now. These are signs of the coming of Christ, guys. Christ is coming soon, and this is awesome. This is one of the most incredible times to be alive in the history of the world is near the second coming of Christ. And many of us right now, even maybe some of you watching this video, will be taken up in the rapture one of these days. And isn't that so exciting and just so thrilling to know that, um, that Jesus is on his way and we don't have that much longer before we're taken up into the rapture. And now I'm going to read the verse that is following later on in that same chapter and see what it has to say about when you see these things what the Bible says to do and here it is it's Luke 21 28 and when these things begin to come to pass then look up 
and lift up your heads, for your redemption draweth nigh. So, the Lord is about to return. His return is imminent, and it is exciting. We are seeing these things, and our redemption draweth nigh. So, I hope you enjoyed that video, and my thoughts about why we're um, living in the last days. Uh, be sure to uh, subscribe to the channel if you could. I'd really appreciate it. It helps the ministry a lot. And um, thank you so much for watching. And thank you if you have subscribed. And I will see you next time with more encouragement, words from the Lord, and answers from the Bible on the Christian YouTuber.